Hello everyone, in today's video we're going to be taking a look at this motion computing LE1600 tablet. Um, now this runs Windows XP Tablet Edition and as you can see it's still in its packaging from eBay. Um, so let's unbox it and have a look at this tablet. Right, so it's all unpacked and I've plugged it in as well. Um, so, some of the main features of this, on the outside anyway, um, we've got the power key there, we've got, I believe that's some sort of lock device up here, I'm not quite sure what that is. Uh, two USB ports and a mic and um, headphone jack there. Uh, and a, ooh, what's this? DVI-D port there, presumes VGA and an Ethernet port, and around the other side we've got the system fan, there's something else, coming, oh hang on, I think I know what this is, I think I've got to press that in, aha, yes this is the pen, um, so I shall use this as a pointing device now. Um, around here we've got ooh, that's something interesting there, um, and an SD port, as well as mini buttons, and um, obviously the power indicators there as well. So this is plugged in. Um, so I believe we are ready to go. Let's boot it up. Oh, this is so weird. Having Windows XP on a tablet. Now, if I remember the eBay listing, this should boot the out of box experience. Rather than just the desktop. We are seeing that right. Yeah. It's not very bright this, I must say. Oh, there's the on screen keyboard. As you can probably hear, it's got the Windows XP setup music in the background. So this confirms that the well sound drivers are working correctly. It's just oh now this is interesting. United Kingdom, United Kingdom. Right, so United Kingdom, United Kingdom, United Kingdom, let's go next. I've never used Windows XP Tablet Edition before. Greenwich Mean Time. End user license agreement, that's fine. And that's fine. This is slightly different to. Um, slightly different to what. I knew from the original Windows XP setup. Let's go next. And yes, why not? That's my computer's name. Let's call it.
Oh, it has actually worked. It just took forever. Um, so, the administrator password, I won't bother with that. As soon as it's a relic anyway. Not part of the domain. Skip the internet connectivity, it doesn't matter. Not this time. Gonna call it what its name is. Oh no, that's not gonna work, is it? Right. I was gonna put its full name, but just leave it at that. You know what, I can actually hear a mechanical hard drive in there. That's really weird. I would have thought that uh, this kind of thing, it would have an SSD. Like most of them do, but that's really weird. Hello. And now the um, on-screen keyboard has got its own theme as well. Hmm. Quite good that is. Right. Oh gosh, look at this. I'll just close out of that. It says down here that it's got some sort of battery life. Don't know how much I can believe that if I'm perfectly honest. Side inactive icons. Look at this, it's got a little screen as well. Do you know what this reminds me of? It's almost like what Windows 98 had when it had um, that screen that came up and it had that weird music with uh, the Big Ben chime in the background. Um, it almost reminds me of that because it's just saying things like, oh, get to know your PC and all that. That's really good. When no other version of Windows XP ever had that. So let's have a look at what else we've got on here. The screen is quite dim, so it's possible, if I remember how, because I haven't used XP in a little while, um, I believe it is possible to actually increase the screen brightness. Right, so I've just went on to a program called Motion Dashboard, which is over this side of the screen. And the first thing it comes to is display settings, and I turned it up to its brightest setting. Oh well, settings. Um, so I believe that basically brings it to the end of this video. I will be playing around with this a bit more, like what's this down here? Tablet PC input pattern. Oh! Oh, I know what this is. Oh crikey, let's open Notepad. Here we go. So now we've got Notepad open. I'm going to try to write something. Get this back into the screen. There we go. So if I write. Oh no, not Windows up. Windows XP. Look at that. Windows FP, so it's slightly wrong, but not, not far out, I must say. So if I go there, and if I go backspace, let's try to do that again. Oh. Okay. Oh no, it's done it again. Let's try to close out of that. Open it back up. Select the area where we want to go. That one. Sit. There we go. Not TP. Oh. <laughs> so it struggles on X's. We can establish that, but it does actually work rather well. I'm just going to tr keep trying that now until it actually. Seven. How is that seven? 
Oh well, so basically what we've got is a really good tablet, uh, for its time anyway, that doesn't want to connect to a wireless network for some reason. But, yeah. It's only got Ethernet, that's really weird. Why hasn't that gone? Oh well, that's a mystery I'll solve later. Um, Oh, there we go. Look, it opens up like that as well. X. There we go. Not X D X P. <sighs> Anything with X's and it struggles. Right. So that's basically it now. Um, I do hope you have all enjoyed this video, and I shall be playing around with this tablet for many days to come. Um, because this is, well, it's fascinating really. Well, I find it fascinating anyway because it's just like a really early laptop. And what am I talking about? A really early tablet. Um, but yeah, it's actually quite decent. It's a decent build quality, it doesn't feel cheap. And it's got USB ports, it's got the whole lot. And I must say, it's more advanced than the latest iPhones, pointing out that particular port right there. Um, because you can actually plug headphones into it. Um, yeah, so it is really quite good. I mean, I do find it weird that you can't actually, this isn't actually a proper touch screen, because you need this for the mouse to move around. But, it is actually rather decent, and well, the text input mostly works, it's allergic to the letter X though for some reason, and the letter P. Um, yeah, so that's basically it, I really do hope you've all enjoyed this video today, um, and seeing as this was sold for parts, it's weird that it actually works really well. So anyway, I do hope you all enjoy the rest of your day, and, um, well, day, morning, evening, night, and if you like this video, then consider subscribing to my YouTube channel, uh, as this just gives me some more motivation to buy more of these weird gadgets, um, and show them all on the channel. So anyway, until next time, see ya.